places and things that keep you stagnant, confused, that keep you in darkness. That keep you in a place of rejection. In a place of facade. Yeah, you need to let that go. Let the facades go. Let the mask go. There's no way. I know I'm a burst of bubble. And and it was not my intention, but I again I'm just relaying the messages. There is no other way but the truth. You have to be in your truth. That is how you master yourselves. That is how you ascend. It doesn't matter the words that come out of your mouth. It doesn't matter the words that you write on a piece of paper. Because what you say is not sufficient. What you write is not sufficient. The only way is your heart. And yes, this will burst the bubble because yes, God sees your heart. Some of us have a gift of gab. We know what to say, when to say, how to say it. But God our creator. He knows your heart. And until your heart gets right, and when I say gets right, I mean until you heal yourself. Because we find ourselves in lower frequencies because we are neglecting self-care. We are not Balancing our time. We are not making time for adequate introspection. We are not making time for meditation. We are not making time to connect with nature, to bond with our kids. To love our partners. To volunteer in our communities. That's the reflection of your heart. When you give a hand, you receive a hand. If you are finding yourselves 
at a place where you feel concerned. I feel that. I feel some of you are concerned. Because (sighs) taking a deep breath. Taking a deep breath because I do feel compassion. You know, some of you were not raised with enough direction. (sighs) With guidance that would help you elevate. Some of you were raised in ways that engaged in trickster energies um, that would bring you in disalignment with higher vibrational living. This is true. And this is not about transforming in one day. Let me remind you what I say almost every week. You are right where you're supposed to be. Okay? And you're supposed to be at your own pace. And I'm sure you've all heard God knows your heart. Just keep showing up. Keep asking God to position you in places that Wisdom could be made available to you. Keep connecting with those that you feel on a, that are on a path that is similar to what you're called to live. And continue to breathe. And I'm going to borrow something I've heard before. Continue to do the next right thing. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. And continue to do the next right thing. Teaching and learning. I know this is my soul's purpose. And if this is your soul's purpose... As well, you have an inner knowing. Yes, there are ways to to clarify, to gain more knowledge and detail concerning this.
as that is one of the services I do provide. But those of you that are called to teach and learn, keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. That's the message for that card. Freedom. I stated not too long ago, freedom. Freedom is part of this journey. So take it. Be passionate about your life. The decisions you're making. Set boundaries. Stand in your truth. Be passionate. In love. Be a reflection. Of those Who love you passionately. Be their reflection. You see. That is one of. The lessons that I was taught. At the beginning. Of my awakening. Is that. I was taught to love everybody. And I'm sure many can identify with that same memory. Being taught to love everybody. But I was reawakened to the truth in who and how, where and why I love. I was awakened to Offer that pure energy called love to those who freely, willingly, open heartedly. Undeniably offered it to me. When you are in circles with people that carry lower vibrations or with people that are not in alignment with God's will for your life. There's a price to pay. There's energy wasted. There is time 